In this video, I want to talk about how to connect a SQL Server to an Oracle database. And for our purposes, we're going to just connect link. We're going to use link servers to connect to the Oracle database. So first off, you need to go to the Oracle server, the server that actually has Oracle installed on it, and go into Windows Services. And you'll see the Oracle service and the name of the Oracle instance there um, in the service name, so XE here. So then um, we could then connect to it with something like SQL Plus um, by going into the Oracle Um, Oracle installation area and you can go to SQL Plus and actually uh, connect to it to make sure you can connect and here you can see I just did a a simple select statement where I selected um, all from the um, CAT and then I ended it with the semicolon so that it would run so now um, you want to go to the machine that is going to connect to Oracle you know whether that's the same machine that you're on here or it's a different machine in our case we have a different machine that uh, or that SQL Server is installed on that we're going to connect to so let me pull that one up and so here's our uh, SQL Server machine so First off, um, let me back up a little bit and you just tell you what you need to install. You want to install the um, Oracle client. So um, I'm going to, let me put this up on the screen. Okay, so this is the Oracle client that you want to install on the machine that you want to connect to Oracle. And so really all you need to do is install the um, uh, the 64-bit contains Oracle client libraries. Download if you want to install the client libraries only. So this is really the only thing you need to install. Um, you can then do um, a, a blank installation or, or a custom installation. And let me fire up the custom installation just to tell you um, all the um, areas that I actually installed. So this is the um, Oracle client and so I'm going to run that And so here it's going to ask if I want to do a can install or a custom install after it after it um, comes up. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. So. Um, you could do um, any of these. Um, I just choose custom and um, I go with the default language depending upon your um, whatever your language is and then the um, you know wherever you want to install it and then um, here so um, I saw I have installed the Oracle database utilities SQL plus um, let's see, the Oracle Net, Oracle Connection Manager, Oracle ODBC Driver, Oracle SQL Developer. So Oracle SQL Developer, that is the um, development tool that you can use to connect to um, Oracle. And Oracle Objects for OLE, OLDB, did I do, okay, the ODBC too. Uh, and then I'm just do .NET and SP, SP.NET and um, I think that's pretty much it that you're going to need to connect um, 
so and normally I would just go ahead and go through this but I've already installed this so I'm gonna cancel out and then um, and so let's just say that's installed um, you probably want to do a reboot and then he, I installed SQL developer and that was the tool that I was just telling you that you can connect directly to Oracle from and this is real similar if you're familiar with SQL server this is what you would use to query the database um, it's way better I mean SQL plus is terrible but this is something that you can actually write in that um, isn't a command prompt that it's if you're again if you're used to SQL management studio this is something that you can use to write queries in and um, uh, develop against the database so in here um, you're gonna wanna once you fire this up you're gonna wanna do a new connection and then you're gonna wanna put whatever your connection name is um, and then whatever your username and password is to your Oracle database and then here um, you're going to want to put your host name and then if it's remote you're going to want to put the IP address and um, let me just open up the uh, connection here that I already have established and so you can see um, we put in our username uh, password here and then the host name which is a remote um, database IP address, the port number, the standard port number for Oracle 1521, and the SID, which is um, XC, which I showed you, which is was in the service name um, on as far as the Windows service. And so um, here, let me uh, let me get that password and put that in, and just show you how we can uh, do a quick test. And so let's paste that password in. So the password. I'm gonna do a test. Okay. So that. Um, shows us our connectivity to the Oracle database from the uh, from SQL developer so let's let's run a query here make sure we turn results okay so we're getting results now from that remote um, Oracle database so now let's go into SQL server and we want to be able to query the Oracle database from SQL Management Studio. So we need to create a linked server. And so a lot, a lot of times you use linked servers to connect to other SQL servers, but in this case we're going to connect to a Oracle server. So um, after you install the Oracle client um, that we previously went over, you will see that um, let's get out of that. Um, you will see that in the providers, there is now an Oracle, an Oracle driver to be able to connect to that Oracle database. So now you're going to want to create a new link server, and so you're going to click on new link server. And so I'm just going to edit the one that I have created here. And so for um, you can give the link server name, it's whatever name you want to give it. In this case, I gave it Oracle DB. The provider was Oracle, the Oracle um, driver that we installed with the client. The product name can be pretty much anything you want. And then the data source, I again, I put in the server IP address, colon, and the port, which is 1521 and I did not change anything else other than security I changed that be made using this security context and then you put in your Oracle username and password so now when you go into SQL Management Studio you can then query the Oracle database directly with a query um, 
in SQL Management Studio. And so this is the Oracle link server, Oracle DB, dot dot, and then um, the uh, name in front of the table. So if I go into my tables here, and then the actual table name. And so this is the same way with SQL Server. If you were to um, connect to a different uh, server, you would you would put in the actual SQL Server, then the owner of the database, then the database, then the table name. And so um, in this case, it is the link server.